Hey guys, Alex Lycos here, just with a quick recap of the Silkgrass Super Secret training coating. So I have been using uh, several lubes over the years, but um, was hot waxing for a while with Molten Speed Wax. It was great, but it's a real pain in the ass, and uh, I just don't feel like I feel like, I don't feel like dealing with it anymore. So basically, I, I switched to Rock and Roll Gold, which has been probably my favorite chain lube of all time, uh, specifically on the on the uh, road bike, but. I was using the Rock and Roll Gold on the mountain bike, and I just found that, yeah, it was very smooth, um, but it did attract some dirt and grit and sand. So I decided that when I got this bike, I'm going to switch back to a drip wax, but I wanted it obviously in, in, a, in an easy application version here. So I used Squirt previously, and uh, the Squirt is, it dries weird. It dries kind of like a little gummy, uh, and you'll also find like on the jockey wheels, they get all gummed up, you know, uh, with just basically the wax, but it was kind of like soft. Uh, so I figured, you know what, let me try the Silka for the first time. Everyone's been talking about it. And, um, you know, let's, let, let's, let's kind of give it a, ro uh, a roll here. So I use my process of degreasing the chain. I put it into the ultrasonic, put some degreaser, let that sit on some on, on like a, a warm setting uh, for about 15 minutes with the cleaner on. And then I you know, kind of rinsed the chain in denatured alcohol. And, uh, yeah, let it dry, blow it out with an air hose, let it dry. And here we are. So I've had four rides on the Silkers so far, and it is it is great. Uh, it, it really it almost dries like a hot wax, uh, which is really really cool. Um, and basically, you're just dripping it on like you would with any drip wax, right? You're applying it down here, right, on the inner intersection of the chain. And then once you do two full revolutions, right, you then keep your finger on it and then cycle the chain through to have some pressure and to work some of that wax in there and just let it dry. Uh, and this is basically it. I mean, it's nothing. It's really dry, and it's and it's a hard. It's harder than the squirt, uh, and actually lasts longer. So I would say between two to three rides on this bike versus one to two that I was dealing with with the squirt, uh, and the same thing with the rock and roll gold. So uh, if I'm not going to get into the specifics of this lube, there's plenty of data on it uh, on Friction Facts on Silka's website. Uh, it's definitely probably one of the top five that I would say now that most people are using or I'm seeing using. But just wanted to share that this is the lube that I switched to. So I urge you to get a, you know, give it a shot. I'll put the link to the uh, lube in my, my description here. So you can click on it right from Amazon. Uh, so you don't have to do any searching here. And uh, like again, I urge you to give it a shot. Right now, I think it was on sale on Amazon. So it's worth, uh, worth giving a go. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, leave them in the comments. Thank you. Be well.